In this video, we're going to look at how we can determine whether a given vector, in this case b, is in the span of a set of vectors which I've labeled as v1 through vm. First, we'll discuss the general strategy, and then we'll do an example with specific values. So the first thing to remember is, what does span mean? And the span of a set of vectors is the set of all their linear combinations. So this question really becomes, is B a linear combination of the vectors V1 through Vn? A linear combination means to take expressions that look like, on the left-hand side, x1 as a scalar times v1 plus x2 v2 all the way up to xn vn. The x's are just scalars, coefficients, or weights in that linear combination. And we're asking whether or not one of those linear combinations can get me b vector b. So the question becomes, is this vector equation consistent? Is there a solution to this equation? It's more convenient to look at this in matrix form, so what we'll do next then is let A be the matrix whose columns are the vectors V, and then we'll let X be the matrix representing the weights in our equation, X1 through Xn, so it's a column vector with N entries. And our question now becomes something about linear combinations, and recall that A times X, the matrix A times the vector X, by definition, means all the linear combinations of the columns of A with weights from X. So this tool here, this AX, is just a convenient way of writing the linear combinations of A, or, or rather of the columns of A, with the weights coming from that vector X. So now our question is rephrased. Is the matrix equation A times X equal to B consistent? Is there a vector x that makes this matrix equation consistent? To answer that question, we now revert back to our basic techniques. We look at the augmented matrix A and put B on the right-hand side, and we do the row reduction, and we see if we can find solutions to this equation. Let's do it now with a specific example. Let's take B to the, be the vector 3 minus 2, 1, and ask whether or not it's in the span of these two vectors, v1 and v2. So we'll just repeat the, um, the uh, theory that we just developed in this specific example. The question now becomes, is x1 times my first vector plus x2 times my second vector able to equal my vector b, 3 minus 2, 1? In other words, is this uh, vector equation here is a consistent. Is there a solution to it? We can uh, rephrase this as a matrix equation. So I'm going to let A be the matrix whose columns are the vectors V1 and V2 whose span we're looking at. There's two of them, so there's going to be two weights, and I'm going to call that X. So the question now becomes, is the matrix equation A times X equal to B consistent? So we look at the augmented matrix that goes with it. I'm going to put the columns down there as they appear, and then we'll do the row reduction. I did it ahead of time, and what happens is I get the matrix with 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, and 0, 0, 1 in each row. Notice I don't write equal to here. These, these matrices are not equal to each other, but they're row equivalent to one another. And if we interpret this the correct way, we'll see that this is, in fact, an inconsistent system. And the key here, of course, is in this third row. It's telling me that 0 times x2 should equal 1. In other words, 0 should equal 1, and, of course, that can never happen. So, in fact, the equation is inconsistent, and that tells me b is not in the span of those two vectors, v1 and v2. Geometrically, what's happening is all my vectors are living in three dimensions, R3. It's probably the case that these two vectors, V1 and V2, form a span. And I'm going to draw them as sort of a plane sitting in R3. And it's probably the case then that our vector B is, is living outside of that span. In other words, B is sticking out of that plane, not living in it, and therefore not a linear combination of those two vectors.